So finally, we've got round to the part of the house renovation where we're going to be working on my craft room, my studio. Never had a room dedicated to craft before, um, but I have been working in, this is our garage. I've been working in here for the last few months. Um, it's been chaos. I mean, just look at the mess. <laughs> but you, of course, when you've been watching my tutorials, my videos, that's not what you've been seeing. The camera can hide a lot. But now um, we've finally cleared the garage. So you can kind of see it behind me. I will show you a full shot in a moment. So most of this space is going to be my craft room. We're going to build a wall from the edge of this door all the way down the front. So just behind me is the garage doors here. We're also going to build a wall from uh, where will be the entrance all the way along the front here. Uh, and then that will go up to that utility door that you just saw. So just here we're going to have a window in the internal wall as well. So I can open the garage doors and have some light and some ventilation if I need it. And this door here, I'm really hoping on the other side, which will be our porch, um, This and this will be the only door in uh, that I'm gonna have a bookcase, and it's gonna be a secret bookcase, so a secret door into my office, fingers crossed. So in here, plans are at the moment, uh, we have a lower floor, if you have a look at the doorstep here, um, we've actually got a lowered floor in here. It's concrete floor, so nice and stable, but we do need to bring, or we want to bring the level up. So we're going to do that by having a floating floor. So we've got some nice, really thick laminate flooring that's going to go on top as well in the end. And um, obviously we've got no ceiling at the moment. Now up here, we did have a leak a while ago. So when we were looking at the leak, we discovered that actually the ceiling had no insulation in, it was just a void. And that's actually our bedroom above. So given that this is a garage, we want, and it gets cold in the winter, we're going to fully insulate that. So we ripped all the ceiling down, going to insulate it, put all the wiring up there, lights up there for my studio as well. Um, cameras will be attached to the ceiling so we can board it properly, make sure that they're stable in the ceiling. Um, yeah, so down this end, this wall here is going to be where you'll see me doing most of my tutorials. That will be my filming area. That'll be my backdrop. It will look a lot nicer in a few months, hopefully. Um, and then on this wall here, I'm going to have a, an office desk. So it doesn't look like much now. Let's see how we go. Okay, so latest update, it is now into October. Uh, where are we? Middle of October, I think. And it's been slow going because we've been working evenings and weekends, but as you can see, we're starting to get a ceiling up. We have walls. So this is, if I just come out of here, uh, this is out of the garage. We've got a corridor that's going up the side of the utility room. This will all be pretty much blocked off this bit here that I'm walking through is there's going to be a window here so let me just turn you around so we can have a proper look okay so like I say this is the bit where the window will be we're finishing this off this weekend uh, we have power we have ceiling boards all the plumbing is oh, it's almost boxed in we've got a little bit of insulation to put up there still uh, as you can see down here I've got sockets for my uh, that's gonna be under my desk uh, we've got behind here, there's loads of power sockets like this and uh, like I said, window there. There'll be a desk here as well for editing and emails and things. This is going to be the door in and I'm so pleased with this because look, so if you look from the other side, it's actually like a secret bookcase. Uh, yeah, I love, love, love that. And needs finishing off on this side, obviously, but, and I might even do more uh, shelving or something there just for storage. But yeah, so that is so far. So we are on the 1st of November and we are now two days away from plastering. So everything's been boarded in. We have a fuse board here, hiding under these bags of plaster are my PowerPoints that will be in the floor. See, I've got sockets everywhere. I'm going to have side lights so that I can have them um, shining on my desk from the side. So there's my window that actually at the moment you can see through that, you've got the garage door, 
Eventually, over a year or two, we're going to have that bricked uh, up around it and not have a garage door there, but it's there in place for now. So I've just done a horrible job of pre-gritting. Just putting this horrible blue stack, sandy stuff on the wall, ready for plaster day after tomorrow. So yeah, really getting exciting now. You can see all, we've got temporary lighting now, but all my spotlights are gonna be in here. Yeah, getting really exciting. So as you can see, we've got walls, they're plastered, we've got them all painted, just white for now. Flooring is starting to go down. Uh, you can see where the electric points are going to be. There's going to be lots of spotlights. We've got temporary lighting in at the moment. And yeah, that's where it is right now. My husband stopped last night because these need cutting out for the floor sockets and I don't think that's an easy job. So I think he's waiting until he's a little less tired. But yeah, we're getting there hopefully a few more weeks. I've ordered some, um, some units yesterday to come at the end of this week. So I hope to get the floor down so we can just construct them in here. Um, the electrics won't take long because my husband's an electrician. So that will take him no time at all to get all these uh, up and running and the lights up there. Uh, and as you can see, I've got a window there. There is a garage door behind it. I think I've mentioned before that garage door is going to be able to be opened so I can see out down the drive at the front of the house if I want to, but also close it so the front of the house, it just looks like a garage. No one knows there's an ex a studio in here with expensive equipment. So eventually we will be bricking that up, but obviously leaving the recess for a proper window to go in at some point, but that is future plans. So this is a, it's kind of a temporary measure for now so I can get some daylight in here. So this will probably be the last update before the final reveal. Um, I've, I'm putting my furniture in, the flooring's done, all the electrics are done. Uh, as you can see, my craft desk is in situ. There's lots more to do around there. I've just started positioning a few things, but it's all probably going to be moved. Then there's going to be another desk along here as well. And behind my secret door, there's going to be, this won't open this far, so there will be another, some more storage along here. Um, and oh, and my electric heater's in, so I'm nice and warm. Uh, I'm not sure if that was last time I did an update. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at at the moment. So should we have a look at what it looks like when it's all done? Okay, so as you can see, we're still renovating the rest of the house. So the porch still looks like a building site, but this is the door that takes us into my craft room. Behind here, we've just got a bolt and a handle, and I can push it open. So, I've got my letters on the wall, the window there, I've got storage all along this wall with my what I call my second desk just here. And this is how it turned out. So, um, I've got storage on the back of the door, but there will be a lot more going there. I've still got space at the top here to put shelving, little nooks. I have got all oh, things on display, advent calendar, it's Christmas at the moment. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. The flooring is down and let's just have a little walk through. So it actually feels so much bigger than it even did while it was empty, weirdly, because I've managed to squeeze so much in. This is a working craft room, a working art studio oh, and a working filming studio as well so i've got my side lights so as you can see these lights switch on just on and off just here so this just means that i've got uh, light on my desk so because i've got spotlights in the ceiling as you can see because of the spotlights i would get shadows under my hand a lot this just kind of although you can still see them quite a lot on this white surface but this eliminates the shadows quite a lot it really does tone them down it's dark outside at the moment, but you can see I've got 
the window, my computer, my camera set up. This is another arm for a camera. I've also got another holder for an arm somewhere. I don't know where that one's gone. Usually it's attached here. I have got storage under my desk as well. And there's just so much. I absolutely love it. Now, this is just a quick tour video uh, to show you how we converted the room. Um, oh, and I've got the heater too. So really important for me. I do feel the cold. So stay tuned to my YouTube channel. Make sure you are subscribing because I am going to be doing a full organisation storage tour so you can see everything that I've used, the, the way I'm storing all my art and craft supplies. And yeah, I hope you love it as much as I do and hope this has inspired you. If you've got a small space that you want to convert, yeah, it's a lot of work, but it's so, so worth it. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you again very soon.